<laughs> this music. The start of Intimacy Week brought some spice to maths last night with one bride learning a little more about her groom than she ever wished. Massive ick. <laughs> no. <laughs> Body. Let's pump the brakes. Absolutely not. Oh. Sunday we're going to church. You keep it down. We're going to speak to the high heavens. Go to church. You need it. <laughs> Exercise those demons, buddy. Oh. Bride Tori joins us now from Melbourne <laughs> to unpack it all. Hey, Tori. Um, Tori. Morning. Hello there. So Jack has referred to himself as a bit of a Christian Grey type <laughs> I don't think before. he's read the book. But this was probably not what you expected to hear from him. How were you reacting in the moment? Um, look, Intimacy Week for us was a, like a barrel of laughs and I think that kink list was just the beginning. Um, we definitely learnt a lot about each other. Thankfully, none of my answers were shown, so I'm in the clear here. So um, <laughs> that's brilliant for me, not so much for Jack, but brilliant for me. The golden shower was one I was like, dude, like, trust you. Like, shocked, but not surprised. Do you think he was serious? Was Is he just all talk? Is he legit? He is legit. He's definitely not all talk. There's some th things I wish he was all talk about. <laughs> um, Certainly that. Yeah, look, he's definitely not all talk. He's very legitimate. Okay, so, um, but despite all of that, and uh, you guys are going, okay, what do you think is at the heart of your connection? I think because you you tend to laugh about it very well, I think. Yeah, look, Jack and I are going really well. Um, and that the heart of connection is our morals align, our where we want to be and what we want to do align. You know, we're both very respectful people, loyal. You know, we laugh, we banter, we care. Um there's just, there's a lot of mutual respect between Jack and I. And it's, you know, we worked on building a really strong foundation for the both of us. And we didn't succumb to any of the pressures of the experiment. And we, we did things at our pace and by our rules. And I think, yes, the experiment is there to kind of accelerate everything. Um, but Jack and I did it on our own terms, on our own time. And we we made it, you know, like we, we're going really well. You were tested early by those rumours about his ex, but it seems yeah. you've put them to bed. Like, have you had some trust issues around that or have you worked through it? I think um, we had to establish a really strong trusting base very early on, um, especially with, you know, the article and whatnot. Any question I had... Jack met it with nothing but pure clarity. And I think if there was any dustiness or any holes or anything like that with those kind of explanations, there'd be trust issues. Uh, but no, we just, you know, we're adults. We communicated very openly. Questions were asked, questions were answered. And I think in the grand scheme of things, an article is going to be the least about issues. Cool. Well, what about in the sneak for tonight's episode, uh, Jack makes an admission about his attraction towards you. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, I think, um, look, it was no kind of surprise, but in the beginning, you know, Jack and I, we weren't sexually, I guess, there was no spark there from either side. You know, I could appreciate he was great looking, um, but I wasn't, you know, wanting to climb him like a tree the moment I saw him. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, you, you build on that and you grow. So like I think a tree. Admission, like like a tree, exactly yeah. right. You water it, it grows. Wow. Um, but yeah, look at that time, both Jack and I weren't feeling that that sexual spark, and that was for him to comment on, and he okay. was well within it's his rights. So to. that changes a little bit. Yeah. Will we see the tree grow? Yeah, tree grows. Okay. okay. All right. A lot of so long as no trees are harmed in the process, <laughs> we're all good. But don't leave each other alone. <laughs> Oh, very good. Sauce. Very good, Dad. <laughs> hey, Tori, thanks so much for chatting Thank to us you. today. It's Tuesday and it is the day after Super Bowl. <laughs> so we've got a lot to discuss with Dickie in just we a do. moment. But first we have to also unpack maths. Oh um, husband Tim, Timothy, was left fuming when his wife Lucinda last night ambushed him by coming to bed topless? I mean livid. livid. Don't, aren't you always livid when that happens? But it was Lucinda's <laughs> reaction that really won the praise of many fans online. Don't answer that question, Dickie. <laughs> Maybe come to bed with a shirt on. 
also, um, if he doesn't like me with my top off, absolutely, but you do the same. You've got boobs as well. Wow. She just pissed. She just pissed in my cornflakes. I have nipples, Greg. Huh? Do you want to milk me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? What is going on? Uh, this Dicky, are you okay? It's a safety goggles. It's confronting. Safety I know. Here we go. Safety. It is it's confronting. okay. It's all good now, Dicky. Shirt back on. Oh yeah, it's all gone now. Everyone's shirt. We just off. don't know what to say. We I don't, don't know what to make of it. I don't know what is going on with the guys this mm. season. It feels really. We're strange. catching up with Tori a little later to discuss Jack oh, did because you get a hold that's of another her? one who's. I got. I got her on the oh, line. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, she's good. Um, but she's got stuff to say, so right, we'll, we'll have catch that up chat a little later. Yes, later. He's just not that into her, let me say it. Well, I reckon maybe she's not that into him. Not anymore. No. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. that never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?